Welcome back everyone. The Center for Primary Care has partnered with Augusta Locally Grown to provide seasonal cooking classes. Whether you have diabetes, hypertension, or you just want to eat healthy, you'll reap the benefits of these plant-based menus filled with locally sourced vegetables. And the best part of all of this, it's free. Dr. Rob Seikerbike is one of the physicians at Center for Primary Care. He's at the Gateway office in Grovetown. And Dr. Psychobite, thanks for being here at the show. Thanks for having me. We are pleased to welcome you. And this, you know, it's such an important topic. We all know that we're not eating right. And I think it's interesting that as a group of doctors, you all have partnered with Augusta Locally Grown. How did this come about? Well, thank you. And, and it is amazing that when I talk to patients every day, they often don't don't argue with me about they know they don't eat well they aren't picking the right foods but they really don't know how to change that and so we have that conversation with our patients every day about how to eat better how to eat differently why it matters but still as a society we struggle with diabetes we struggle with hypertension with and with weight with weight with which ties obesity, all of that absolutely. together um, and so I was approached by a good friend and mentor, Dr. Karen Phelps, uh, who's been involved with Augusta Locally Grown for a while. I had actually not heard about it at the time, um, but she brought to my attention what a great community service they were providing. And as soon as I heard the extra steps they were taking to help teach and reach out to the communities most in need for mm -hmm. nutritional support and education, I knew that was a perfect fit for Center for Primary Care with what we do every day, trying to prevent chronic illness. Right. The thing that is hard about it is you have to prepare. You, you have to shop. You know, you have to go to the farmer's market or wherever right. and get that. Sometimes we're just accustomed to our fast food paced mentality. You just drive through and Absolutely. have it ready. But you have to make that extra effort. And so I think the idea of somebody helping me and showing me these are these are some ways to do it that it might make it less intimidating or less of a, a chore where you just are like, where do I start? That's exactly it. And, you know, and farmers markets are not new to communities. Mm -hmm. We've had those for a long time. And they're a great resource for bringing locally sourced farm fresh produce and nutrition to local consumers like you and I. But just to have that stuff plop down on your counter and then you kind of look at all of it and you try and figure out, well, what do I do with this and how do I combine it with that? It can be overwhelming when you're used to being able to follow a preset recipe and yeah. directions on the box. And so what Augusta Locally Grown has really taken to heart and done well is to bring that level of education to these underserved nutritional communities that, that not only do they bring the resources to them, but they also provide the education opportunity to learn how to use them and then fitting in with that why it matters to your health long term. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what I've seen is as people develop a comfort level with it, it actually becomes a, an entertaining process, a fun process to be able to take those raw materials that you see on your countertop and turn them into some fantastic dish that everybody in your family enjoys. One area of town that people have been particularly concerned about is really down in the medical district mm -hmm. with the 15th Street Kroger closing that created a sort of food desert there. Yeah, exactly. And I know the Harrisburg community, There's there's been some emphasis there to try to, to do these farmers markets. And that's another neat feature of Augusta Locally Grown is they're going into those communities like the Harrisburg community with their ice um, icebox farms and going right. in with the produce and the products and not only are they teaching you about preparation of those items but for those who maybe have an interest in gardening themselves but just never really had the opportunity to learn that skill they're providing resources and showing you how to do some of those things in your own backyard or your own community so they don't only empower you on how to use the products but maybe how to create them yourselves and to pass that along to your friends and neighbors well let's show you in case you're wondering about this and how to get involved in it we have a full screen graphic again Augusta locally grown teaming up with the Center for Primary Care to offer these free make and take cooking classes. It's at the Evans office over on Bel Air Road and the September class is coming up. There's one coming up September the 7th at 1230. 
And then again on September 12th and September 26th at 530 in the afternoon. And those are at the Evans office. And there's a number on your screen, 706-922-8210. You can call that number for more information and to register. And I guess you do need to know how many people to prepare for. That's true. Uh, but we, the most we can get, the better. The more we can affect our community. So. That's fantastic. Right. Well, Dr. Rob Seikerbike, thanks so much for your time today and for sharing this information about your partnership with Augusta Locally Thank Grown. you for having us. It's been Very great. Very good. Up next on Jenny, if you're seeing teal, there's a reason. From teal fountains to teal ribbons, we'll tell you the significance of wearing teal this Friday.